In this tutorial we will be learning about restricted Boltzmann machine. In addition to combinatorial optimization problems, there are other applications that can be computed with Cubo, such as Boltzmann machines, that use probability distribution models of solutions including optimal and local solutions. In this section, we would like to confirm the sampling method in this Boltzmann machine with a simple model. What is RBM? RBMs are called restricted Boltzmann machines, they are a type of NN, called a Boltzmann machine with restricted layers to two visible layers and a hidden layer. Reference of restricted Boltzmann machine. It all started with this paper from the University of Montreal. A famous professor in deep learning published the following paper as a possible implementation of deep learning in D-Wave, and its implementation in D-Wave machines was considered. At that time, the policy that sampling can be used to estimate the gradient of RBMs required for learning, called NLL, in a software simulator that mimics D-Wave was explored, but the actual machine was not used. This paper and the following paper by Dr. Jeffrey Hinton are very useful for learning RBM. Proposing Boltzmann Sampling as a result of actually performing the above problem on an actual D-Wave machine, we will discuss the following. It is an application of quantum annealing to training of deep neural networks. This shows a concrete policy of using a quantum annealer as a Boltzmann sampling machine to estimate the NLL described above, and training is actually performed on an actual machine. Now let us look into RBM model outline. First, the model consists of two layers, one called the visible layer and the other called the hidden layer. It is an undirected graph with no directional coupling. This coupling distribution follows the Gibbs and Boltzmann distributions. Here, this coupling distribution is specified by the energy function and as shows the number of nodes n in the visible layer and m in the hidden layer. Also, this is the normalization constant and distribution function for normalization. Also, from the complete bipartite graph, the conditional probability distributions are as follows using the sigmoid function for V and H respectively. Next, we would like to check how to train a model of NN consisting of the above probability distributions. Even a multi-layered DBN is trained in the form of an RBM. These are trained by calculating the error between the training data and the model so that LOGP is maximized. The gradient calculation of the coupling coefficient and bias is shown below using LOGP. In practice, it is very difficult to obtain this value directly, so approximate calculations are performed using the CD method or other methods that apply Gibbs sampling, and the hidden and visible layers are calculated in turn to obtain the value. The above is an update of the coupling coefficient. Parameter update using Boltzmann sampling. Here, the basic idea of Boltzmann sampling learning using the actual machine is to use the annealing machine instead of the CD method as per the original gradient calculation. Sampling method utilizing annealing. D-wave machines are built on the theory of quantum annealing and are basically designed to seek a minimum value problem to solve an optimization problem. In practice, However, due to the influence of the external environment or other reasons, it often does not settle on an optimal solution. Therefore, the basic idea of sampling learning is to use this property of falling to a local solution as a sampling machine to find the distribution. If the variation of the excited states can be assumed as the Boltzmann distribution, it can be approximated by the following equation, and by mapping this to the equation of the initial distribution, the sampling method can be introduced into the update equation. I would like to learn about the above RBM sampling with a simple example. Let's start with a simple problem that can be found in the D-Wave examples. In the case of this cuba matrix, the cost function is if we look at the energy in terms of the number of cases of X, we get. From an analytical point of view, since we have all the case numbers here, we can first find the normalization constant C then, from. The probabilities are 0.13 and 0.37. It would be too much work to do this by hand, so let's consider it by sampling. 
We will use Google Colab to implement. Firstly, install BlueCat using exclamation pip install BlueCat. Click on Run button to install. After that your BlueCat will be installed. Sampling with Wildcat. Sampling is easy. Run the above cubo multiple times to get a distribution. The above shows the probability of occurrence of car equals 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, where the lower the energy, the more likely it is to appear. Since the total number of trials was 1000 this time, we can obtain the probability distribution by multiplying each of them by 1 1 1000th. By putting this into the update formula, we can update the combined load. After running the code we will get this output. Thank you for watching this tutorial.